What's up everybody? It's Friendly Grower here. I uh, figured I should get my fifth video out there uh, sooner than later. Um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to my channel. Please help me grow. Help me grow so I can help others grow. Um, in this video I'm going to be covering CFM, cubic feet a minute. Uh, that is for airflow. Um, this video is basically just to stress the importance of airflow and ventilation because most people don't really seem to understand the importance of it. Um, excuse the noise in advance, I don't know if there will be a lot. I recently took this out of my grow tent, my inline fan. It is uh, 195 CFM, which is just below what I want for a 4x4. And what that means is basically I'm gonna be having some kind of airflow and ventilation issues bring on the white powdery mildew like I have. So I've uh, I've swapped uh, the Vivo Sun 195 CFM out for the AC Infinity T6 uh, 405 CFM, so I've basically doubled it. Uh, the AC Infinity blows this one out of the water. The adjustable speed, the design, the quality of the product is just it's 10 times better. <laughs> um, save yourself the money and get something good the first time. It's kind of like a light. If you're having issues in your grow and it's not bug or nutrient and pH issue, it's probably going to come down to airflow or ventilation issues. There's a, there's a good chance of it. So be considerate of your uh, ventilation. It's not something most people think of because you can't touch it, can't feel it, you don't know it's there. Uh, the other one to be... Mo uh, cautious of is your airflow in your tent so like you have you know a fan that blows back and forth and back and forth that's your airflow stirring the air in the tent that's just as important as ventilation um even in a small tent you should have ventilation and airflow it it helps prevent mold and white powdery mildew and just a little a bunch of problems that you don't really want and that look like other things at first um, I also made a little homemade filter because I don't have to worry about the smell in my place, but I do have to worry about keeping my, my inline clean and my tent clean. So rather than going out and buying, you know, the $120 carbon filter and the housing and all that, I kind of made one. I used a mesh screen from something like a strainer or a colander, chopped it out. Uh, fitted it to size and put it on with one of the metal o-ring clamps that come with your uh, inline fan and then I just take a piece of uh, carbon filter and, and filter cloth and put it over that and the suction of the vent pulls it on and it's super convenient very easy to change and unbelievably cheap I think I'll get about 12 filters for under 30 bucks which that's like, you know, six months of filter, I think it was. Three to six months. Um, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments and I'll do a little video on how I did that. Um, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, share, help me grow so I can help other people grow, please. Um, I really appreciate it and I think some other people might once they discover me. Um, basically have a good fan. Clean your fans, clean your inlines. Make sure you have adequate ventilation. Make sure you're not blowing air from the tent into the room the tent's in to go back into the tent. Like you need air exchange, you need that fresh air. Um, it's important. So that's basically what I wanted to say about inline fans and covering airflow and ventilation. Just make sure that it's, it's enough. I think the minimum that you want is 13 CFM per square foot. So it doesn't matter what size your tent is, you want a minimum of 13. Uh, it's actually just under that, but I don't want to give you the very, very minimum because that's like, you know, inviting for problems. So 13 cubic feet a minute is the minimum that you want for an, a square foot. Um, So on to the next stuff. I will have another video up today covering germination. I have actually started, I don't know if you guys can see them in there. There's 
four grapefruit diesel from Master Sensei Genetics. It's got some uh, some decent seeds for decent price. Um, if you haven't checked them out already, check them out. It's it's worth it. Um, so later today I'll have a video about germinating and planting seeds and starting them. I start them in the little jiffies. I know most people hate these things. I cut the mesh off after I'm done. It's just it's easy. It works. It's fast. Um, I am working on some deals with Gaia Green, Microbial Mass, um, Fish It, Wand Garden, uh, I'm forgetting a couple other places, and I'm sorry, but at some point in time you guys will get all the information. I'm going to be running some giveaways and some contests in my Facebook group. There will be a link down below, but for the people paying attention right now, it's at the Friendly Growers Club on Facebook. Um, if you do decide to join, answer the, the questions and agree to the security rules and all that crap because the mods are savages and won't let you in. And I don't blame them. It's We're about quality, not about quantity. We could have been at, you know, 2,500 members, but we're at 1,200 because we'd rather have good people in our group. It's more of a community than a, a group. And that's not my words, that's the words from the members, from the community. So if you want to participate in the grows, uh, or the, the competitions, I'm not exactly sure what the competitions would be. It could be a contest, it could be a competition, I haven't really decided yet, but if you want to partake, get into the group, answer the questions, subscribe to my channel, because the winner better be subscribed to my channel, and uh, I'm going to run some contests. There might be some Gaia stuff, there might be some seeds, there might be some nutrients. Um, I just got to wait back to here, you know, what's available and what I'm allowed to be working with in a sense. But uh, there will be an American contest and a Canadian contest because, you know, I hate when people lose out. It's not very fair. I, I started this channel, I started this Facebook page because the Americans seem to have all the good stuff. Like, you know, we got some good stuff up here, but like... You guys had all the good contests and shit, so I made one for the Canadians and I thought, nah, I can't leave you guys out. It's, gotta love everyone. So, um, stay tuned, like, subscribe my channel, go to my Facebook group and uh, get in there and, and participate. Maybe you'll win something. Um, I want to give a shout out to Aaron at Wong Garden, uh, Tom at Fish Shit. Microbial mass, they're all gonna be hooking me up with some of my promo codes and discounts for you guys So like, you know, they help me to help you to help them kind of it's the circle of life the circle of love um, Make sure you subscribe, please like share all that kind of stuff and uh, I'll catch you all in the next video if you got any questions or comments, please shoot me a message, email, drop them down in the comments. It doesn't matter. Like, I check all of it. Uh, and I'll catch you all later in the next video. Peace out.